push you on that because the league table doesn't reflect the way these boys have played, particularly second half of the season. No, I don't think it does, but but it's not an excuse. Um, we haven't taken as many chances as we'd like, and then, as we say, at the other end, that puts you under pressure at the back. So w- th- th- there's still things to work on, and you know, also then with a lot of boys, a lot of second years not here today for for one thing or another, and we've had some operations to, to key players, and then obviously Jared and, and and Liam have been with the first team a lot, so. A lot of promising things to come from from the season. Um, we just got two games left. Try and win them two and see if we can get towards mid table. And then you know see what we do with the with the second years and contracts. And um, as I say, I think it's then a positive season for the academy. Two more for Taylor. One of them in particular was an absolute thunderbolt. Yeah, he, he, we don't see enough of it in games to be honest. In training, it does it. You know, nearly every day we, we put on them kind of drills. He's got a lovely left foot. It, he just he's one that um, he's got. A lot to offer. Hoping is a second year. He, he, he jumps. He jumps out even more when it, when he's you know just that realization of, of of the mental side of it and what it takes to constantly be on the front foot. He's a laid back kind of guy, which is good because not much phases him. But at the same time, you know sometimes he just needs a rocket to to go and get on a second ball because he's then if he gets on the second balls, he's then into that final third and it, and he can unleash some more shots. But yeah, he's he's had a really good year. Good gambling from Kyle for his goal, but what a delivery from a right back, Liam Brockbank. Yeah, left back playing right back, which sometimes can work in your favour, can it? As an in swinger, everybody plays. Um, there's a there's a the favourable thing now where everybody likes to play right footed forwards on the left hand side, cutting in, and that's what we did with with the full back because of injuries. He's had to play left back, um, and it was a great ball. And Kyle two in two now, so that'll give him some credit. We we, we tried to get some. He hasn't had a lot of game time this year, um, but we're hoping the final few games we might. Get him on the pitch a bit more and uh, and try and finish on a on a high from him. So yeah, two and two, he, he'll be chuffed. Time to rest. A quick turnaround for Friday's game. Yeah, it's good. It, it brings it on for us nicely. You know, we'll obviously have to rest up this week and, and not do a great deal with him now because we we probably won't be able to change the eleven too much um, with, with absentees and injuries. So it, it'll probably be the same thirteen or fourteen if we maybe get another sixteen away from. Uh, few of them might have been available but they've got to do the court the school work and, and they've been taken in school for extra work so we'll see where we are with it but hopefully try and get 13 or 14 on the bus and, and go and try and put another performance together just finally darren i hate this time of year because i keep having to prod you on how close are we to the second year decisions yeah they'll they'll happen this week at some point there's parents evening next week so um within the next week or so um it'll it'll have all they've all been told and and you know, like you say, that it's never easy at that time of year for academy staff. But you know, we, we, we've we, we've give our best for them, and they've give their best. That that that's. I hope none of them have got regrets over the last two years. And and, and as you say, the next week is horrible, but um, it, it, it's a, a learning curve, and it, it makes them stronger. Great game today, Darren. Thanks for your time. Thank you.